From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Eden Chuckle. Here's a look at the stories making news. A shooting investigation is underway in Miami-Dade after police say one person was shot. The shooting happened this afternoon near the intersection of Southwest 176 Terrace and 120th Avenue. Two people were taken into custody to be questioned. The condition of the victim is still not known. Officials say it appears everyone involved knew each other. Police in Lauder Hill are searching for the driver who hit a man and left him for dead. Detectives released this surveillance video from the scene on Northwest 31st Avenue last month. Two people are seen getting out of the black Dodge Ram 1500 that hit the man. They checked on the victim and then got back in the truck and took off. 71 year old Ira Joe Anderson was rushed to the hospital where he later died. Anybody with information is asked to contact Broward Crime Stoppers at 954 493 tips. Miami Dade police officers hitting the streets today trying to get answers about who shot and critically injured a woman as she drove home. Police say 21 year old Ashley Rodriguez was struck by bullets coming from two cars who had opened fire on each other last month. It happened when Rodriguez was driving home from work along Southwest 232nd Street. She's now fighting for her life. Life. Ashley's family and police are urging anyone with information to please come forward. Miami-Dade is launching its bicycle pilot program next week to help protect cyclists along the Rickenbacker Causeway. The program comes after the tragic deaths of two bikers back in May. Police officers and motor units will lead and monitor four Peloton group rides with a specialty lane. The rides will take place throughout the month on the following dates from 5.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. This program will help evaluate whether more safety measures should be put in place. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Head over to Local10.com for more local news coverage and updates. Have a great night.